What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and check out these conditions right now. We're in 70 foot of water, crystal clear. You can actually see the bottom right now. It's a little shadowed because of the boat. The sun just came up and I'm in Key West with Key West Waterman over here on Hello. YouTube. We got cooking with clams and we have beautiful Madeline <laughs> paddling. <laughs> so right now we are gearing up to go spearfishing. The goal's wahoo, but like you guys know, you never know when you're out here on the water, you don't know what you're gonna see. Honestly, I'd like to see a whale shark, but... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right? Oh God, the nice. amount of hours I've spent on the water and... Have, not... have you seen a whale shark yet, Dibs? I, I went... So I've been in the water pretty much my entire life. I had to go all the way to Rhode Island to see one. It was insane. Rhode Island? <laughs> yeah. I, I, saw, I saw... What are they? What are the big ones out there? Blue whales and then a whale yeah. shark in the same day. I Never didn't even know, yeah, I didn't even know they had whale sharks in Rhode Island. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they went that far up. I thought they were mainly Florida to Mexico. I know, I'm like, I'm going to end up having to book one of those like super touristy trips in like Isla <laughs> Mujeres to like see a whale shark. One day the encounter will happen, but this is how we put on our wetsuits here. Yeah. You, don't know this, you don't know this, but this is Madeline's biggest fear. She normally has me on call. Stuck. She's like, are you here just in case I get stuck? <laughs> I had a... Uh, traumatic experience trying to put it on in the shower. <laughs> yes. And for the first time, and oh my god, never do I want to feel that fear again. Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> Listen, the first time I've ever put on an open cell wetsuit. Now with these free diving wetsuits, as you can see here, the ones with the hood, they're open cell. So the like the rubbery silicone fabric, neoprene, whatever you want to call it, it's basically cut. So it's a bunk, it's a bunch of suction cups. So it suction cups to your skin. So you have to lube it to get it on. Well. <laughs> The first time I ever tried to try one on, I was in Hawaii in this little dive shop. Of course, I had no shower or anything. And I'm trying to put on a Torelli, I think it's called. The Torelli ones. And they make them like super tight and small. And I was hyperventilating in the sweatsuit yes. in a dry dressing room. trying to. I'm like, how do people... And I, had, I was clueless. I, did, I was like, how do people put these on? <laughs> and then later, months later, I figure out you have to lube. I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, but we're gearing up. Aaron just threw a float in the water. Got some big floats and some big guns. Big guns and big floats. All right, you guys, you're gonna see what we see. So it's oh, 103 top top feet right now, and Dibs just informed us that you can see the sand. It is so clear down there. Hey, Joey, do you know if it's clean down to the west? <laughs> we got the radio on back there. I'll throw you the gun, All right. or, or if you want to take it, whatever you're comfortable with. Not a small mahi either. <laughs> that was the most graceful mahi experience I've ever witnessed in my life. That was like God just gifted me the mahi. <laughs> and he stoned him too. <laughs> Look at that. That is not a small fish. Yeah. He was by himself just cruising around. That's a nice boat. Oh my gosh. That is too cool. <laughs> gosh. That is too cool. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, that's not what I was expecting, come, but I'll take it. Come on this side of the boat, cause, so that the sun can yes. hit you and I can get a good shot of you. Make sure you bleed them. Yep. Get some, get some action going. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw it. I was like, what? I was like, uh, what? She has a fish? <laughs> Normally the mahi jump or just freak out or something. No. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, oh. coming to the sun here. That was incredible. What the heck? <laughs> right there. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. That is a nice mahi mahi. <sighs> <laughs> I just can't believe that has happened. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Can I take this gun? Yes. Wow. That thing ain't small either. That's the biggest body I've had on the boat all year. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's been so bad for him. I probably, like, by far. I canceled all my body trip. Can I get a, I want to try to get an underwater pick real quick. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Not have anything in him right now. You ready? There you go. Oh my gosh. Dude, I cannot get over what just happened. It's the most calm, peaceful day out here. He does have oh no, he had a little remora on him. It's it's down there. Oh, there it is. Hold on. <laughs> Save the remora. Save him. Come here, little guy. A little remora. Whew. Those are them little sucker fish that stick onto whales and sharks and mahi mahi apparently. I don't even know what to say other than that was the perfect mahi experience I probably have ever had. His uh, his soulmate must have got caught because he was by himself. But that is a stellar bull mahi here in Florida. Let's get some pictures of this guy, bleed him out and put him in the box. So we just bled this fish out as best as we can. Took some more photos of him because after I bled him out, he just lit up in colors. As you can see, all his little blue dots. He's kind of slimy, a little slippery. Check that out. The shadows. Man, his tail's so cool. So cool. Thank you for your sacrifice, big guy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. The shark. shark. Is attacking it. Oh. The shark is attacking it. The shark just went after your float. That fish just swam right by me. It tore out. All right, go grab her. Yeah. Madeline's good? Yeah. All right, you on? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ooh. The fish came flying by me. Oh, he came off? Yeah, he came off. And the I, shark attacked the buoy. I think I think the fish came up. It definitely came up and then the shark went I think the fish came up towards the buoy and the shark yep. just saw something moving. Oh, look at your buoy. And that's exactly what happened. Yep. <laughs> Bring the buoy over here. Dang it. Whale shoot. <laughs> so we had a school of like, probably like five or six. Yeah, like five or six. Five or six wahoo come through. And I guess the wahoo swam to the surface and that bull shark, that caught its eye quick. He did attack the buoy at the surface too. Well, <laughs> we, all, we, all we can do is get back in the water and hopefully more wahoo swim by, but they're definitely here. 
Yeah, wait till you see the, the teeth marks on the buoy. Yeah, bring the buoy oh, in. No. Oh, it's it, like the shape of the jaw. I can see it. It popped the buoy. <laughs> Did it really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Just one shark, too. I think the problem is you guys are in the sun. I think I got the buoy tombstoning and the shark attacking it. I saw the tail come out of the water, but I don't know if my GoPro got it. Oh, can I? I can just do this. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, it's still float. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Look at this perfect shark bite. <laughs> wow. Koa, we're going to need a new buoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's kind of cool. That's like, I mean, I feel bad about, about your float, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> Look at that. All right, bull shark. One, us, zero on the Wahoo so far. But hey, at least we saw some Wahoo. Oh, I see a yellowtail snapper down there. The water is insane right now. I know you guys can see the bottom. Up with Brandon? Probably 30 feet. Yeah, it's 35 at the bottom. 35. So we're taking a break from Wahoo spearing. Uh, we saw probably three, well, two groups of wahoo, and then at the very end, which I'm gonna show you guys right here, this one wahoo just came out of nowhere and it was like on the surface right next to me. Dib saw it because he looked at me and he's like, uh, Kelly, there's a wahoo right next to you. And I kept looking down because all the wahoo that we've been seeing have been like 30 feet below us. So I'm like looking down, looking down, and I can't see anything. And then as soon as I look up, the Wahoo's already been there, checked me out. Like he's already like, eh, yeah, this ain't happening. So I take a little <laughs> dive down about five feet under the water, go for it, took a long shot, missed it, but it is what it is. That Wahoo gets to live to see another day. So we're gonna just do some fun reef spear fishing right now and see what we can get. Actually, they're really nice yellowjack too. They just swam right up. <laughs> he was dancing. I don't know where that reef shark went, but. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. It, I took a double take because there's a lot of small yellowtail snapper and mangroves down there. And there's two like bigger chubs that, and you guys snorkel or spearfish, when you see like a big Bermuda chub on the side of your eye, you're like, you always think it's something good. But uh, yeah, and then he turned and I saw the yellow and I was like, heck yeah. A little bit of a body shot, but he was starting to swim away from me. Ceviche, sashimi, grilled, whatever you want to do with this fish you can do. There you go, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dibs just dove down. He just hollered that there's a wahoo. Right now, they just got in. We just got back from reef spearfishing where I shot a yellowjack, a big white margate. Almost had a chance on a black grouper, but he was spooked. Is he? Is he... No, his buoy's not moving. That's what I get for shooting a gun for the first time. Uh oh. Oh, no. What happened? I just missed. Oh. Loser. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I actually hit my Wahoo earlier in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. They, yeah, they were in the water for like two, like literally under 60 seconds. 
Man. Anyways. Right. I'm getting a tan and I'm taking a snack break because I'm starving. <laughs> in here. Oh, don't oh, worry. No. Watch, watch this Jackie Chan move. <laughs> Jackie Chan. Oh. Oh. Just wow. slither. Oh. <laughs> you haven't done it in like a week, so get a little sticky today. Okay, babe. It's been a uh, Thanksgiving break. We just slid right up in here. It is five o'clock right now. We just got back to the marina here in Key West and we, we actually have a box of fish. We probably should have five Wahoo, but <laughs> Mine tore out. I missed two. <laughs> you missed one I with the new miss gun. One. <laughs> and but one tore out. Okay. And I had one tore oh, out. another one tore out, dude. That's how Wahoo goes. Look at that. There's a happy box in there. Look at them two Wahoo tails. So Madeline over here shot her very Yay! first Wahoo. <laughs> which I'll show you guys a little bit of that right here. But all the footage will be on Dibs' channel, Key West Waterman, of Madeline's first Wahoo. Because that's epic. Super excited for her, but we are going to go ahead and fillet this big mahi-mahi right now, which is on the bottom of the box. So, good luck getting that out. <laughs> Your hands cold yet? Ooh. Yeah, baby. That is yeah. like, I ain't going to lie. That's a nice one. Yeah. It's probably Especially been, time. yeah, it's probably been like a couple years since I've caught like a nice mahi like that off Florida. Well, this one I shot. First, actually, my this is the biggest mahi I've shot in Florida. Really? Ever, yes. Because all the other ones I shot were like, you know, peanut mahis. That's, That's sick. Awesome. <laughs> all right, big guy. We will see you guys at the filet table. The one cool thing about dolphin is they don't have a lot of scales. Actually, they don't really even have scales. Mm -hmm. Which makes them a little bit easier to filet. Now, these bull dolphins have like this nice piece of head meat right here which i ain't gonna lie i haven't filleted a dolphin in like a very long time so bear with me here just gonna trim around that head i still can't believe the way this guy swam up to me in the water like it was so peaceful we just got in the water and he just casually just came. I was looking straight into the distance and he just casually came up, swam toward me, the most like mellow, docile swimming, just kind of hanging out by himself, which is really unusual for Mahi because they're such schooling fish. I'm thinking his school already got hit by either Spiros or fishermen because he was by himself. He didn't have his girlfriend with him either. So at the end of the tail, I'll just pop my knife over over this backbone. Oh, the brain meat, so weird. The <laughs> brain meat. Mahi have such big like spines, it's crazy. This knife's pretty nice. This is Dib's knife he just sharpened for me. <laughs> My fillet knives are on the kitchen counter at home, looking nice and sparkly, not being used. Their knuckles and their spine are so big. That's a nice slab of meat right there. So Will, who's cooking with clams, who's behind the camera right now, he said he's been uh, thinking about a recipe on what to cook with whatever fish I shoot. Can you do it with Mahi Mahi? Oh yeah. All right, I'm super excited. So he's a really amazing chef. And he actually has his own restaurant in, is it Manhattan or New York? Or is that the same in thing? In Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn? Okay, <laughs> it's in Brooklyn. What's it called? 
A Green Point Fish and Lobster. Green Point Fish and Lobster in Brooklyn. Next time I'm in New York, I'm eating there. So I also want the collars off of this. This too? Yep. Yeah. Right. We'll, we'll figure that out we'll later. We'll have to finagle the yeah, collars yeah. <laughs> out. Check that out. That is one fine piece of meat right there. So just like every other fish, when you take the skin off, now mahi skin is like super, super thin, so it's very easy to just stick that knife right through it. But we're gonna do it anyway. It's just a very, very large piece. So what you can do is you could actually cut it in like steaks and do it individually. That way you're not sitting here stripping down an entire long piece of fish. Like that. Boom. Then you're going to do this to the rest of the fish. So mahi have a lot of bloodline, so normally what we do is just simply cut the fillets in half into like almost fish fingers. And then just cut that bloodline right out because you don't want to eat that bloodline that's gross unless will do you eat bloodline <laughs> <laughs> we'll pass today <laughs> we'll give it to the tarpon <laughs> all right you guys we will see y'all in the kitchen with cooking with clams they're fine all right you guys i think they're pure bonded enough. you see this mess right here <laughs> this is from tipsy and finley <laughs> tipsy is um Madeline's and Dibs' dog. She's, I think, 12 years old, and Finley is a whole lot of eight months. And Finley loves to rip up boxes. And Tipsy's like never even seen a box. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> Tipsy now likes chewing up boxes because she saw Finley do it. Needless to say, they're getting along pretty well. You just taught her a new trick. <laughs> so, right now, we have Will cooking with clams in the kitchen. He is scoring this mahi mahi right here. And we have some really cool rice balls going on here. Patties, balls, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> he went ahead and made a marinade. Where's the marinade at? Over here. That's the marinade. He used, let's see, oyster sauce, this stuff, which smells terrible, but it's fish <laughs> sauce, soy sauce, honey, and rice vinegar. So you score it on top like that. And then when we pour the marinade, it's gonna not just sit on top of the fish, but actually go in all those little cuts when we go to bake it. I literally never even thought about scoring like a like a fillet of fish. Mm. <laughs> like, cause I know when you when you cook a fish whole, you yeah. like score the fish, but I've never even thought about doing it to fillets. So people do it with scallops a lot to try to get them. You can cover more surface ground and get more of the car caramelization when you pan to your scallops. So it's the same idea as that. That makes sense. <laughs> Usually with thick like mahi and like kobe and stuff, like thick fillets, I'll just like cut it in half and butterfly it. Definitely a new trick I'm going to try. Scoring <laughs> it. But you see what I mean? So then it goes inside and gets trapped in there. That's so nice. And then the honey in there will caramelize if it works out the way I picture it in my head. I think it's going to be so good. I still can't get over that sashimi you made with the little <laughs> the lemon and the apple oh, and the little so chili pepper and the toxic seasoning. <laughs> the toxic seasoning. <laughs> oh, that's sumac? Sumac. Uh, sumac. That was the... Yeah. Not poison sumac. <laughs> that one's different. It, but it's the same thing. No. So they're different. Oh. <laughs> we'll pretend that it's the same though. <laughs> Live on the edge. Live on the edge. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Listen, if you dive all day, you can literally eat anything on the planet Earth after you dive and not <laughs> gain a pound. <laughs> all right, so we're going to bake these, but then mid-bake, we're going to put the rest of this on to try to get it a nice, nice coating because they cool. should get nice and sticky. Look at that head over here. Look at that head over here. 
So he's actually gonna make some tacos with this head because they have some leftover taco stuff and might as well just utilize the meat on the rest of the fish. I went ahead and gilled him too. Yeah, thank you. I noticed that I went to take the gills out and they were out and I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> 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 That's how we feel about this one. Oh my gosh, these look absolutely amazing. So these ones got a little spice to it. Is that because the red chili pepper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With little diced up cucumber, cilantro. What is that seasoning called? Uh, furikake. So it's basically just sesame seeds and um, chopped up nori. Nori? Yeah, the wrapping on si on. Sushi. sushi rolls. Oh, very nice, sushi. very nice. Cool. So we have that on there, and then this one just does not have the chili pepper. Correct. So, all right, let's dig in. All right, I'm I'm going I'm with going the non-spicy. I didn't drizzle the pokey sauce on top. Uh, That's a, uh, yeah. yeah, we need oh, a spoon. Babe, where's my we need a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> We need a spoon. <laughs> so I don't know how to pronounce this. Two pats? Two pays? Two pats. Two pats? <laughs> two pats? Two pats? <laughs> two two pays? Pays. It's not one pat. Two pats. Two pats. <laughs> Hawaiian Island poke sauce. He sent me this in the mail the other day and super excited to try it on this. Is this one or this one? This, this one. one. I was going to say, this is soy, right? This yeah. is soy. So I tasted it on my finger and it's kind of like a sesame, like a sesame oil with a little bit of a kick to it. And a little dab. Oh, we're just dousing that thing on there. <laughs> hey, let me I'm get scared some. if it's got sesame oil, I don't want to be too strong. You don't, oh, you're not a fan of sesame? Over. That's like a ton. No, I am, just, it's, it's an overpowering flavor if you have too much oh, of it. Oh, I got you, I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a dab oil. I don't want to oh, mess this up. Soy on there too, oh, oh, now you want some reciprocated. Maybe some soy too. <laughs> The medium. Dang, we're really dressing this thing up. <laughs> medium. That's good. Okay, so I really want to just take this and bite into it. Do it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like one handed over here. I All right. want to also, but I'm gonna My it. mouth's not that big. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you got something to say? <laughs> it just crumbled in my mouth. That's so good. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. Oh wow. I actually like that. This sesame yeah. is nice. It's not bad. That's really nice. There's three other sauces he sent me too. That's just the one I brought because it was poke sauce. Oh, I yeah, figured if I shot a right Wahoo, <laughs> <laughs> I could use it. Mm. This is absolutely amazing, mm. Will. Wow. I can give that. The mm -hmm. wow. is like chicken. It <laughs> really? yeah. It seriously is. Oh, it like, tastes like chicken. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, well, get in here. On your own creation. <laughs> That's spicy. We normally can't get them to eat. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Getting summer ready. <laughs> <laughs> summer ready in Woo. November. Yeah. All right, so I gotta say too, apparently I take terrible thumbnail pictures. I was I was told by Kelly. <laughs> So no, I no, knew... no, 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 I did not say terrible. <laughs> so I knew, I knew I had to step it up on the, uh, on the cook. I said, <laughs> oh, we can use a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it will do perfectly fine. Thank you. Oh, I dig this. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm in. Mm. So, one other thing too. I reached out when Kelly was coming down here. I said... Okay, tell me something that you like to eat. Cause I cook a lot of weird things using fish instead of other proteins. And I was like, what do you like to eat? She responds, fish, rice, and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so sushi, that's basically it. So yes. we had to do something a little bit, cause at first I was like, I guess rice bowls, but 
I was like, no, we're doing something more interesting than that. So wow. this is perfect. Yeah, are, I'm impressed. Yeah, very they're good. very good. So you have fish, rice, and vegetables. Yeah. I like the crunch yeah. on the rice. It's, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> so good, so good. All right, you guys, we are all absolutely exhausted. The sun's been setting at like six o'clock and it feels like it's like midnight right now. Probably. Just like everyone else. <laughs> um, but we're gonna enjoy this meal. You guys check out Madeline's first Wahoo on Key West Waterman's YouTube channel. You guys, most of you guys already know who he is, but if you're new to the channel and tuning in, check out Key West Waterman. And if you love to cook, check out <laughs> Cooking with Clams because he just made this delicious mahi rice ball appetizer avocado meal that is absolutely delicious. But right now this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a positive comment, and we will see you guys on the next one. See ya.